Good evening, and we're back with more Tahoe tonight. I'm your host, Mike Perrin. On my right, Bev Ducey, representing the Tahoe Prosperity Center. And not much of a bigger topic besides water, of course, in the Tahoe Basin than broadband speed and the need for it in a lot of our area here. And that's what the Prosperity's main focus is for the people that have never even heard of it. What would be sort of your elevator pitch or your, your summary to them of the Prosperity Center? Thank you. It's great to be here this evening. Uh, the Tahoe Prosperity Center is a nonprofit that was formed to focus on economic vitality within the basin, um, basin wide. And as you said, there's probably no greater infrastructure need that we have within the basin mm -hmm. than broadband. So yeah. that is one of our main focuses. And who founded it and how did this sort of come about? I mean, was it someone, you know, sitting there that had a lot of connections and needed to get to those connections and couldn't? What, how did it sort of come about? It came from the 2010 Tahoe Prosperity Plan, which was a basin-wide uh, effort to really look at where we wanted to go into the future. Okay. And one of the key findings of the Prosperity Plan was the need for a center that represented all the jurisdictions within the basin, the businesses, the nonprofits, the the um, chambers, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's how it was born. And so we've got great leadership from, uh, as I said, the jurisdictions, TRPA, mm -hmm. uh, head of Parasol, uh, all of our chambers, et cetera. And you can sort of step back from those groups without taking a specific interest or being pushed around by you know one specific chamber's needs or something like that. You guys can step back from that and make a decision for the greater good. Is that what I'm understanding? Right. Yeah. And we would not take on any issue that's already being addressed by any one of those entities. So we're right. looking at issues that affect the entire basin and take it takes everybody coming together collaboratively mm -hmm. to figure out a solution. And one of the ways you guys are figuring that out is by the surveys, the speed tests that people need to do at their home, at their the location of their business. Correct. Stuff like that. We received a grant from the California Public Utility Commission and they understand how uh, integral both California and Nevada are to our our economic prosperity within right. the basin. So this they're they're letting us use this grant money for both California and Nevada mm -hmm. as far as determining where our slowest pockets of speed are. What and are you seeing about so far? Internet yeah. speed. Because you have been doing the survey for a little bit We've now. We've been doing the survey for two months. We want we have one more month to go, so we want everyone to, to be sure to go out there and do it. But what we're seeing, the biggest gaps would be in Squaw and Alpine. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the West Shore of the lake and then there's a few pockets within the the south shore and you were saying you need a couple surveys from a few di you're trying to reach out to a few different areas we are we really even if you even if there already is high speed internet it doesn't mean necessarily that they're, they're at the advertised speed so we're trying to do an analysis of ground truth in the entire lake mm -hmm. and zephyr cove and glenbrook we're needing a whole lot more people to do our survey all along the West Shore, as many people as possible to do the survey. And Zephyr Cove, Glenbrook, your inputs don't go unnoticed. She's also throwing up an iPad uh, towards this contest. And it just pick, picked at random, yeah? Picked at random, yeah. yep. As soon as this, the, the, con the survey ends October 31st, mm -hmm. and as soon as that's over, we will pick at random a winner of an iPad Mini all from right. all the people that participated. Thanks, Bev, for coming in and yes. all the work you do. Tahoe Prosperity Center is a nonprofit. Go to their website for more info or do the speed test. Calling you out, Zephyr Cove and Glenbrook residents. We'll be back when we're Tahoe tonight after this.